event management at the University of Chichester. And we have a panel of students and uh, graduate students joining us today who will be answering all of your questions about careers in event management, how they got started, how they got their part time jobs. They'll be telling you about their student experience, their favorite modules, um, their favorite lecturers, hopefully. <laughs> and and what you can do to establish uh, your own brand, personal brand, so that you could foray in this industry. So this is going to be the first of three series of webinars. I will be sending out invitations to another webinar, which we will have in March, and that one is going to have the employers. So look out for the invitation. We're going to have employers from event companies who will be telling you what they look for in event management graduates, what their companies are like, the different roles, how to get jobs, and they'll be telling you as well what they like about Chichester graduates. So there's a lot of exciting content to come in the future. So without any further ado, um, what I'll just tell you a little bit how we're going to run the webinar today. So we have three panelists and they're going to tell you their graduate and student stories and they're going to be doing presentations. And then after the presentations, they will then answer your questions. So if you want to come on camera and show yourself and ask questions using your video audio, that's fine. Or you can use audio only. Or if you prefer, you can put your questions in the chat and you could say who you're directing the question towards and I will read out the question and let the person know um, who needs to answer that question. So uh, just let me introduce myself before I get started. I'm Dr. Wendy Seely and I'm the program coordinator for the event management degree and I've been teaching event management since uh, 2009 at the University of Chichester. Love it. Um, event management uh, is also my career background. It's an exciting career. It's a career full of possibilities, lots of exciting travel, meeting people, dressing up. Sometimes, you know, it has a balance. Sometimes you have to put on your sneakers and your jeans and get out there and get your hands dirty. But also there are times to be on the red carpet and dressing up and accepting awards and meeting people. So but I'm not going to I'm not here to tell you about my story. I'm going to just turn it over to the panel. So first of all, let me introduce uh, the panelists. We have um, Amy O'Connor and Amy is an event producer at MCI event management company based in Portsmouth. And uh, Amy is also a graduate of the University of Chichester. We also have um, Ellie. Ellie Reynolds and Ellie is in her final semester and she um, is an award nominee for sustainability. Um, Ellie is also just re uh, just got on a, a full time job with a wedding venue at Framebridge and you are the marketing and event manager. I'm sorry, I understand. She should be talking about that. And then we have Paige White, uh, who is a full time student in event management. She's there waving. And Paige actually um, has a really great part time job that she'll be telling you about. And uh, that's with Rens Catering, doing weddings all over the country. So without any further ado, I'm just going to let the panel do their presentations. So, Paige, would you, are you willing to go first? Would you like to go first if you've got? Um, a presentation or are you going to talk to you because you can um, do a yes, screen share. I have um, emailed you my presentation Wendy just because I'm on my phone because my computer isn't working so I don't know okay. if you can see that screen so that everyone can see it that way. Yes okay if you just let me pull that up um, yeah. I'll just get the email uh, the presentation. Uh, it hasn't come through though Paige. Two seconds. Oh, what we could do, we could get let Ellie go first and um, and then I could find it afterwards. So yep. what I'll do, um, Ellie, if you would like to start first and do your presentation and then that would give me time to find pages. Yep, no worries. I'll just share my screen. OK. All right, so I just turned the meeting on to off to Ellie. Oh, that's the last slide. Hang on. <laughs> uh, can you all see this? Yeah, perfect. Amazing. So, um, yeah, like Wendy said, my name is Ellie Reynolds. I am 23 years old and I'm currently in my third year at the University of Chichester studying marketing and event management. 
So I work at an absolutely beautiful wedding venue in West Dean as the events and marketing manager. And I'm also a singing teacher for 10 to 18 year olds. So I've completed 19 modules so far throughout my three years at university. And I'm currently on week four of my 10 week placement. Um, so in my first year during the module uh, social media marketing, we were tasked with, with creating a personal brand and presenting it back to our peers. And this was a great introduction to get us thinking about ourselves and our brand and what we wanted that to look like. Um, mine's changed completely since that first year, but um, I much prefer it now. Uh, in my second year, we were given the opportunity to plan and create an award ceremony for the Jump Awards, which is a sustainability scheme at the university. So here's some pictures from the awards. Uh, when we started planning the event, we were going to have it at the university. However, COVID hit um, and we had to make the quick decision to design and create the virtual award ceremony instead. So Wendy was actually incredibly supportive and helped make it all possible. And we ended up filming the awards in my friend's garden with the two meter gap between us both. Um, and one of the other girls in my group created these amazing awards that you can see here out of old vinyl records. They were absolutely amazing. Uh, also in my second year for the module Sustainable Business and Circular Economy, I created a presentation and my lecturer uh, decided we should enter it into the Green Gown Awards, which is a national awards which celebrates sustainability excellence. So after quite a long application pro process, including making a little video and everything, um, I found out I was a finalist, which was very exciting. Um, so I didn't win the awards, but my story made it on into the Chichester Observer, which has been pretty cool. <laughs> um, anyway, onto my job. So I saw a stall for Farbridge at my Freshers Fair during first year. They were advertising uh, waitressing jobs at, for their wedding venue. Um, so I signed up and had my first shift in November 2019. Um, so apart from a few months where COVID ruined everyone, everyone's lives, <laughs> um, I worked there while completing my first and second years at university. Uh, so last August, um, just before my third year, they asked if I'd like to help them in the office um, and then they offered me my current role, which is events and marketing manager. Um, and I'm doing this part time right now while I finish my degree and do my dissertation and stuff. Uh, and as soon as that's finished, I'll be offered it full time um, at the end of June, which is so exciting. I can't wait. So here's just some pictures of me at work. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love my job. Um, so part of my role includes setting the tables. So this first picture is a, a table layout that we did last week. It was really simple, really elegant. I loved it. Um, the picture under that is the whole barn from that same wedding, just so you can get a feel for it. Um, and they also had this amazing cheese and charcuterie station in the middle, um, which I designed and set up for them. Um, and we had our in-house catering team provide all the food and it was it looked amazing. Uh, this last picture is me tweaking a table a couple of weeks ago. Um, and tweaking is where we go around the, each table, ensuring everything is absolutely perfect. You can probably see from this front one, everything has to be lined up absolutely perfectly. Um, and we check all the cutlery, glassware, it's all polished, everything like that after it's been set up from our setup team. So uh, we entered the Wedding Industry Awards this year and we won Barn of the Year at the Regional Awards back in January. Uh, and we have the National Awards tomorrow night in London, which is very exciting. So like Wendy said, half of the job is hard graft and the other half is accepting awards. Um, and it's, it's just been amazing. So these are photos from the um, January awards. Um, and so we are actually currently always hiring. Um, we're hiring casual staff. So if you are looking for a job, um, definitely get in touch. I've popped uh, our main info email on the screen. Um, but you can also email me ales at farbridge.org.uk if you want to work in the industry. So a little bit more about me. Um, I do run a singing group in Havent for 10 to 18 year olds called the Urban Vocal Group. 
Um, we have performed at the Wedgwood Rooms, we've performed at the Guild Hall, um, and we do a set at Victorious Festival every year. Um, we have four groups. I run the Haven't One, um, and each group has one session a week. Uh, we also run summer workshops. So this picture on the right is me getting ready for the summer workshop. I don't work outside every week. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm telling you all about this bit is because I definitely would not have had the confidence to do any of the things that I do with my singing group um, if it wasn't for the support that I've had from the university. So if I look back five years ago, honestly, would never, I wouldn't even do an online presentation like this, let alone stand in front of a group of 10 year olds every week and teach them something that I love. Um, so the university are incredible with all sorts of support. They've made me more confident. They've made me believe in myself. Um, and I know that they're going to continue to support me like after I've graduated as well. Um, so yeah, they are they are great. I can't recommend enough. <laughs> and last but not least, I run an Instagram account called Simply Sustainable Events, which I showcase the other events I organise that are separate to my job, completely separate, um, including graduation parties, hen parties. Uh, I also did my brother's wedding, which is the picture on the right. Um, I also advertise event props. So while we were all in lockdown, I made this ladder on the left. Uh, out of an old ladder we sanded it all down cut cut all the holes out um, and made the Prosecco ladder so that was at my um, sister's hen do which is really cool and um, so eventually I'd like to rent all that out um, for events and make more things like that because I love DIY um, but yeah I'm just starting with all that at the moment uh, anyway thank you so much for listening to me ramble on um, I've popped my contact details on screen here if anyone just wants to chat um, but does anyone have any questions for me right now? <laughs> okay, probably not yet. But what we'll do, thank you so much, Ellie. Um, I didn't even know all those things about you, so I'm still <laughs> learning about who you are. Fantastic job and congrats on your nomination for the Sustainability Awards. Thank so uh, what I'll do, I've got Paige, I've got your presentation, so I'll let you do yours. And then at the end, uh, if anybody thinks of any questions, then you can put them in the chat and we can have a further conversation after that. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see Paige's presentation. Okay, can, can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, so I'll just put it on slideshow. It's just not working, here we go. Okay, Paige, um, you go ahead, just tell me when to change the slide. Over to okay. you. So, hello everyone, my name is Paige White. Um, I'm a second year event management student and I work part time as an event manager at Wren's Catering. So the next slide, please, Wendy. So. Basically, I actually took a year out and I feel like this is a massive thing, part of it, because I took a year out due to having a child and the whole university was so supportive about this um, and it just goes to show that you can do things alongside your degree and how supportive the university are coming back it was so easy to just come back and get back into it and everything like that so the university of Tisha, the next slide please so what is an event manager i just put an event managers plan and organizes promotional business and social events um, they're responsible for running a range of events, ensuring the target audience is engaged and that the message of events comes across properly. I feel like this is a massive part of it because when you feel like you think about event management or events, you just think that you're going to be there looking pretty on the day. And it's not just about that. That's so much behind it as well. Um, so the year one modules, the... Again, I think Ellie ran through these, but just these are my year one modules and what we've done. So we've done the management and organisations, the event planning, design and creation, social media marketing, 
the mindset, the marketing principles, the awareness, the academic and professional skills, and then the tourism and event management. They do differ, obviously, if you're taking alongside, like Ellie's doing events and marketing. I'm just doing purely event management. So the next slide, please, Wendy. So what is the event course like? Um, so again, during year one, we started planning our Jump Awards. My original Jump Awards was meant to be the Jump Awards with Ellie, which obviously I took the year out. So we are doing that this year. And thankfully, they're all face to face again, which we're all really excited about. Um, this gets your event planning skills activated. Like I feel like on this module, you really get the fire in your tummy. You get to decide what decorations you want and like what food you'll serve, absolutely everything. Um, and then my favorite module was the event planning, design and creation. This is because you get a real feel of what it's like to be an event manager and you get to submit the event proposal, which you actually, in my job at Ren's Kitchen, we do we submit the event proposal to all the brides to make sure that that's how their day is going to run. So that's really good because it gives you the correct way of learning. And then the second one, please, Wendy. So these are my year two modules, um, which I'm doing half of them now. Obviously, I've done four in semester one. So that's project management, creating a sustainable competitive advantage, Purple Goldfish, Sustainable Business, Planning and Managing Events, um, the Professional Graduate, Operations Management and Data Research. You get to choose two of these. So I chose the Purple Goldfish and um, the Creating a Sustainable Competitive Advantage for both of mine. And then the next slide, please, Wendy. So, so far, the sustainable business um, is my my top module so far of year two. Obviously, we haven't finished the last four, but I feel like this is because be becoming sustainable is such a part of life now and what it's going to be. I feel like 10 years ago, businesses weren't thinking about becoming sustainable, whereas now they are. So the more knowledge you can get on it now whilst entering the events just means that you can use everything that you're learning, um, which is really important. And then the next slide, please. So Ren's Kitchen. Um, Ren's Kitchen is a catering. It's a catering company that cater for weddings and conferences and bespoke events. So could you pop on the next slide for me? So they, when they start off with it, that you start off with obviously going onto the website, etc. But alongside your catering, you get an event manager for your whole day, which is where I come in. So I'm the third event manager there. Um, we, they, during 2019 pre-pandemic, they catered for over 100 weddings. That's just weddings alone. And now this year, they're looking to cater for over 150 weddings, which is going to be a busy summer. <laughs> um, I had the first one on Friday. It was a 19-hour day in London. It was so fun. And before you know it, the day has just gone. I think I left at six in the morning and I got home at three in the morning. <laughs> so it was <laughs> really long, but it was so fun. And it was just, it's amazing seeing it all come together because Ren's Kitchen are part of the designing as well. So we design all the centerpieces on the table. Um, we set it all up. We go through everything with the bride beforehand on what she wants. And then on the day, you have all these plans, all these drawings or floor plans. And just to see it come together is so beautiful. So the next slide, please. So the job role within Renz, um, so a week before the event is due to take place, we get a brief that, like I said, that will be emailed over to me. So the event planner, which is in Renz as well, 
they go through all of this with the bride to make sure it's all up to scratch and then they email over it over to me the event manager um i then contact the bride myself so they we make contact with them make sure that they know who i am instead of on the day just walking up to someone and then being like oh who are you <laughs> they, we just want to make sure that we're there all the time once contact has been made we'll run through the day making sure everything's okay um on friday we had to travel up to london and when we got there the bride was there she was there half an hour before her day start like before the ceremony started um and that was just mental <laughs> i was like uh, you, you need to go and get ready And then that morning, I then travelled to the venue. Um, we set up, we designed the room, how the bride wants it. We have a team meeting to make sure that everyone knows what they're meant to be doing. Um, go and greet the bride as well, the main part. And then when the event's finished, we make sure everything went okay. Go over, make sure you say bye make sure everything okay when okay for her so it's a real hands-on being an event manager is so hands-on you've got to stay in contact all the time which is really nice and then the next one so i got this job role through wendy at the university so kelly who the senior event manager is at wren's kitchen is a previous student at the university of tista who also done um, event management so Wendy sent the email out to say that it was available and I cannot tell you how quickly I submitted my CV like within seconds um, and then Kelly gave me a call we had an interview over the phone over the phone yeah and then I went in and we had an interview face to face and I actually got it offered on the spot which was really good um, it's I I'm so passionate about weddings it's it's what I base my personal brand on, which again, as Ellie said, in year one, when we done our personal branding module, I never expected it to be about weddings, um, but I just absolutely love them. So, yeah, it's just amazing. And it goes to show how much that the university and your lecturers support you and that they send these jobs out and that we all, we, we get them. So that's really good. And then the final one is um, just some photos of the wedding. So this was actually a Lord of the Ring themed wedding. You can you can't really see it on these photos, but up close, all the table settings, um, the seating plan, and all the notes they were all Lord of the Rings, and it was just really cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. Any questions? Right, okay. Um, thank you so much, Paige. I'm just trying to find where everybody is. I think, okay, here we are. <laughs> I think this is the page. I'll just um, stop sharing. Right, thank you so much, Paige. I hope you all enjoy uh, listening to Paige's story. And now we are going to be moving on to Amy, Amy O'Connor, uh, the assistant um, event producer at MCI. So, um, Amy, it's over to you. Can't hear you. You're muted, Amy. Oh, you're muted. Sorry, good start. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, can you see my slide okay? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. That's great. Thank you. Um, so yeah, hi everyone. My name's Amy O'Connor. Um, and I graduated from the University of Chichester um this summer, just gone to so 2021. Uh, sorry, my PowerPoint slide seems to be stuck. 
there we go. Um, so this is me at uh, graduation. You can see Wendy here as well um, and all my colleagues. So that was in August. Uh, thankfully, um, the COVID restrictions um, had eased by then and we were able to actually have our graduation, which was outside dinner marquee, but um, nonetheless, it was still an amazing day. Um, so, sorry, so since I graduated in university, um, actually the day after my graduation, um, I delivered an event um, for an estate agent um, that are based in Portsmouth called Jeffries and Dibbons. Um, so I've worked at the company since I was 16 um, and they asked me to deliver their um, corporate party, which was to celebrate 25 years of the company. Um, so I worked with the managing director of the company. We had over 500 people um, at the event. It was outside um, at Queen Elizabeth Country Park, which is just near Petersfield Way. Um, and we had a whole range of activities. We had stilt walkers, we had character tourists, balloon artists, singers, dancers. Um, it was a really great day. The picture up here, um, a few of the girls that was actually in my course um, at university helped out on the day as well. Um, um, but everything, I wouldn't have been able to put that event on and do everything if it wasn't for the time that I had at university. So um, even things like dealing with suppliers and um, the client, um, kind of getting people on board, dealing with the risk assessments, which is such a huge part that people don't think of all the legislations, um, contracts. There's so much to actually organise an event that people don't really think about. Everyone just kind of goes, oh, you're a party planner. How hard can it be um, when actually this is exactly what the managing director realised. I said to him, I said, have you got staff for the day? Have you got their public liability insurance? Have you got this? Have you got that? He was like, oh, I didn't know if you needed any of that. So <laughs> um, that was really great to step in and be able to work as my first project on that with him. Um, so now um, I work for a company called MCI UK. Um, I actually got the job through LinkedIn. Um, so I put a post on LinkedIn saying um, that I just graduated, that I got first class honours and the event that I was doing for Jefferies. And then the managing um, director of MCI then contacted me. Um, but we do actually have one of the University of Chichester's previous students, Hannah Jarvis. Um, she also works at the company as well. Um, so I think um, when when the director contacted Hannah to say, oh, you know, Amy, and that obviously really worked in my favour. So it just goes to show like Ellie as well um, and like Paige, how kind of relationships through the university help you to get these jobs. Um, so at MCI, our tagline is tomorrow's people so that we're always innovative and looking forward. Um, we offer a range of different services, as you can see along the side there. Um, it is a global company. Um, I'm based in Portsmouth. We have another office in London um, and then it's headquarters in Geneva in Switzerland. But there are offices all over the world. So my role, so I'm an assistant producer, um, so I'm split between um, two different teams within the company um, and this is a really important part that I just want to link back to the university as well um, because you have to be agile which I've really really <laughs> kind of um, understood as I'm going through the role. Every single day is different, you have to be able to quickly swap and change um, and with an events course that's everything that you learn, you're doing different elements constantly. Um, so 50% of my time is split between uh, sorry it's on association solutions and consultancy so just to explain an association so essentially um, an organization that have a membership um, and they're engaged and supportive of the promotion of business interests so um, we work with different medical clients so different societies and organizations essentially that are non-profit um, so for the association solutions, we are the client, we act on behalf of the client. So for example, if someone was to email the client, it would come to us. We do everything on their behalf. Um, in terms of the events that I've been organising for them, it's um, like I say, the clients are uh, in the medical industry so it's very much educational based um, between doctors and surgeons and raising awareness different training programs so they do master classes webinars they have their annual conferences training programs and meetings everything that we have to facilitate 
Um, and then the other percent of my time, um, I'm a professional congress organiser with the other team. And then that's planning and ex executing conferences, again, on behalf of associations. Um, so in this wheel here, I just found this online, but I thought this was really interesting to show a snapshot of all the kind of things that it covers um, that I, what I would do in my role. Um, here you can just see so the European Society of Proctology, so that's one of our clients. And then we also deal with um, the European Society of Cataracts and Refractive Surgeons. So like I say, very medical based. Um, that's kind of what the company specialises in. Um, so just to give you an insight from the other team, so the professional congress organisers, um, as soon as I joined the company, I got thrown straight in the deep end um, and helped them to deliver their first hybrid event, which was called Kings Live. So this is an annual event um, that the company um, run for uh, Kings Live. It's the live end endoscopy. Um, which is just crazy to see. So it's essentially live surgery. It's at King's College Hospital in London, and we directly live streamed from the operating theatre through to um, one of the lectures. And then we had halls and exhibitions of um, all the different sponsors showing their different tools and um, surgical equipment. Um, so my role um, in this uh, event was managing with the sponsors and the faculty, so all the, the doctors and the surgeons, all the uh, speakers, guest speakers, things like that, and then arranging a conference dinner. So um, each of the evenings of the event, we had different um, uh, sponsored dinners. One night we had a conference dinner for 130 guests. Um, so that was a great element of it as well. It was really nice to be able to get the balance and do the fun, I guess, kind of um, dinner social element, but then also the strategic planning um, of the actual conference itself. Um, and again, this is something that I would never, ever be able to do if it wasn't for one, the confidence and two, the skills that I've learned at my time at university. Um, as I'm sure you've maybe seen online or that um, Wendy will maybe discuss the one of the elements of um, the course is delivering a live event, um, whether that's going to be now a virtual event, um, I think that's down to your choice, or whether you want to deliver a live face to face event. Um, all these skills that we had to use has enabled me to deliver these events on site, of course, assisted. Um, but that's just one example there. Um, Another really great thing about the company is they do fam trips. So these are um, familiarization trips. Um, so essentially the aim is for you to be able to go to these different places, network, meet clients, and then we would potentially use this as a venue. So just before Christmas, I got to go to Aberdeen in Scotland um, somewhere I've never been before. Um, everything all paid, which was great. I got to take my mum with me. Um, we went to P&J Live, um, which is a multi-purpose indoor um, venue in Scotland. It's basically like they've tried to make it um, the next best thing, I guess, to the O2 in London. That's kind of the size and scale um, and things that you're looking at. Um, so we had a tour of the venue, got to network with different um, other events organisations that you can see here. Um, in the evening, this is inside the venue, we got to see Gary Barlow and Leona Lewis in concert, um, which was great. Um, and then the next day we had a full tour of different um, places in Aberdeen. So we looked at different museums for um, conferences and dinners, other kind of spaces that could be used, as well as P&J Live itself, different hotels. Um, we did some wine and beer tasting, so all a kind of um, a snapshot in, in two days, I guess, of Aberdeen and to see what it has to offer. Um, so that's a really great experience I've had so far. PowerPoint is stuck. OK, so that's everything from my job so far. So I've been in my job since September um, this year. Well, September 21 now, sorry. Um, so just briefly going on to my experience at university, obviously this is something that the other girls have covered already. Um, but you can see here a few modules that I've covered. Um, you can see um, we, we had lots of volunteering opportunities at the university as well. Um, they've got very good close uh, links with Goodwood, um, which I did a summer placement with. Um, so there's lots of great opportunities, different field trips um, and lots of opportunities to volunteer as well, which I'd really recommend um, that if you do go ahead and do the course to get involved in. I think 
the more you volunteer, the more confident you get, the more um, experience you get in different fields. There's, events is so broad. There's so many different elements to it. So like what I'm doing to Ellie or um, to Paige is completely different. We're all doing different things. Um, so it's good to kind of explore and see what you like and what you don't like and what's out there, um, all which is facilitated through the university, which is great. Um, this is just some pictures from the summer placement that I did at Goodwood, which was through the university. Um, I got called back and did a few events with them after as well. Um, and it's all building and developing my skills and liaising with suppliers, clients, um, contractors, um, helping the build and the breakdown of the event. Um, so all, all element, elements involved. <laughs> Um, in our second year of university, um, we, like the other girls, did the Jump Awards. Um, we did Spring Fair, which didn't go ahead because of COVID. It was March, uh, April 2020 that it was supposed to happen. Um, but we ended up turning it into a virtual event. Um, but regardless, all the prior planning, all the skills that we had to use and put into practice um, were, were still evidently there. Um, we're dealing with real life um customers and suppliers and clients a lot of university courses are mainly coursework as such whereas something different about the University of Chichester is that you do get that real um, interaction with um, real clients essentially it's not a made-up assignment of something that you have to do you actually have to go out and approach these people and speak to them build these relationships you actually have to put a physical event on of course Wendy is there to support us but you are running an event. You have to make sure all you abide by all the laws, all the legislations. You've got your con contracts and everything in place. Do your risk assessments. There's so many elements to it that I just had no idea about before doing this at university. Um, our third year, um, so 2021, um, we delivered a virtual event called A Day in the Arts with Rocks. Um, this was because of COVID. So Wendy completely adapted the university's assignment. Um, always beforehand, it was a live face-to-face -face event. Um, the other few, I believe, universities that did do live events, they switched to just a written dissertation. But Wendy spent ages completely rewrote the whole assignment so that we were able to put on a virtual event. Um, and of course, this matches what was happening in industry at that time. The whole events industry had to switch and deliver virtual events. So this is something when we all went for job interviews that we had experience in, um, which put us at, at an advantage, which was really great. Um, and the university was working for Rocks Music and Arts Organisation to raise funds for their charity. Um, so again, we do everything for the um, for the event. So promotional bits, we had production. We managed to get um, Tega Alexander, who's a professional dancer and TikTok influencer. He's he presented the House of Gucci Awards. He's growing and growing and growing he's so popular um so it was great to get him on board as well as some other good artists so this is all things that you're that you're actually having the experience to do within university this real life in industry experience um we made and um, built our own website again something that no one had ever done or or been taught how to do before all these new skills we're developing we raised different um fundraising competitions to raise funds to put the event on as well as funds to raise for the actual charity during the event um, we had our own backdrop made to film the event we had to do this obviously from home because of covid um, and here's some just some examples of some different um, kind of competitions that we did to kind of build um, engagement, get people involved and try and raise as much funds as possible, all which we did through um, strategy, of course, which was the theoretical part. We did a dance-a-thon as well and um, this event alone raised about £600, um, getting everyone involved, which was um, really great. Um, and this is just a slide that was just from my current job now when I started. They did a nice little Instagram post um, when I when I began, which was really lovely. Um, so that's everything really. Um, but if you have any questions at all, um, there's my email there. You can just pop me across the message um, and I'd love to help. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Amy, for an enlightening presentation. And now um, this is the part of the webinar where I will invite our guests to ask 
the panel questions. Feel free to ask them anything at all that comes to mind about the course, about their careers, how they got their jobs, whatever comes to mind. You can do that um, by audio, uh, but just remember to take yourself off of mute or you can put questions in the chat. So um, while we wait for questions to come in via the chat, um, Ellie, is there anything else that you would like to add? No, I think it's really interesting listening to the girls. Um, there's obviously, I haven't spoken to them both for a while, so it's really, really interesting to see what everyone's up to now. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a good, good example of what you can do. Um, I love that we've all done something completely different. Um, mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yeah. I think what I would like to add is that we are located in Chichester, so the event management degree is based in Chichester, and there is just a wealth of part-time jobs in Chichester that you can do that is linked to the degree. So if you do join us, we do have a careers department that would help you to find some of those part-time jobs, but a lot of those part-time jobs also come from former students through to me, and then I post them on a, a Moodle forum that we have. So like Paige said, it comes out from me and you just need to apply. And I think that's really great when you can get a part time job that's linked to your degree. Uh, some of those part time jobs you can then turn into placements. Uh, we've got lots of barns and lots of um, B&B hotels that do different types of events, lots of wedding venues and barns, lots of um, conferences and business meetings at small uh, conference venues. We've got Goodwood and um, you know, so it's different to like some jobs that people do in their uni that have to be a waiter or waitress, um, not necessarily so in Chichester because we could find you good jobs linked to your degree and, and having a job that's linked to your degree actually enhances your ability to write the degree as well. Right, I see some people are typing questions, so um, I'll just wait for those to come through and then I'll read them out. Um, Paige, is there anything else that you would like to add from your presentation that you would like the our guests to know about? Um, no, not that I can think of. Just again, like it's so events is that like we don't just cover our weddings or parties. Like it's so there's so many different sections to it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And with an event degree, uh former students have also gone into fields other than just planning events some of them are like for instance the brand manager at the she's the brand and event manager at rolls royce she uh megan she is an event management graduate so she's the brand and event manager we've got um people who went on to be venue managers where they run the whole venue so they don't actually plan the events but they supervise the team that does we have uh, students who've gone on to be like social media consultants. So they do all the social media for the client and that's their role. Um, we have people who discovered that they had skills that they didn't know, that they had like hosting and script writing um, are skills that you really don't get to use unless you're working in media. So there's really a, a whole host of um, different roles and different types of jobs that you can do. So we've got a question from someone uh, a user called 15 e burton thank you very much for your question and it is how do you manage your uni work and planning an event with a business at the same time so who would like to answer that question <laughs> I'll, I'll answer this one <laughs> um it is it is a challenge right now i'm struggling a lot with this um because i've got my dissertation to do and i'm also now working I'm so fill in the job um it is hard to switch my brain so if I have a day off sometimes I'm still at work in my in my head um but I have spoken to uh, them recently and actually said I need some more time to work on my dissertation because um I'm kind of not doing it as much as I should uh so at the moment I do four days at work um one of those can be dissertation and then two days off and one of those is normally dissertation so I get one whole day to myself as well um to just rest and recover ready for the next week but yeah it is a challenge but um you'll do it <laughs> and it's all really about time management you really need to set aside the time for work time for uni work 
and make sure that you make the most of your time. So if you've got four hours set aside for uni work and you spend it chatting with friends or just, you know, texting, <laughs> then you're going to be wasting the time. So time management is very important. And the first year module, professional, um, what is it, academic skills module, will teach you how to manage your time and how to manage stress and, and get over some of those hurdles. Um, but it is better if you've got a job that's linked to your course, because then you can use the job as the field work or the dissertation or the placement. So that would help as well. Yeah, right. Um, any other questions? Uh, okay, don't see any other questions in the chat. Yeah. Um, right, Wendy that question as well yes. it's also you work as a team within your job as well so even though you may be even if you're the only event manager there you have a team that will help you plan the event so don't just think you've got to plan this massive thing by yourself as well as doing your uni work and the lecturers give so much support so just send emails if you feel like you're falling behind or anything and organization <laughs> is a massive one yeah, and although we are teaching face to face and we highly recommend that you attend all of your face to face lessons, you can, if you think you're struggling, book a tutorial online. So, so we do do online tutorials through Teams. Uh, we wouldn't encourage you to join a lecture online because a lot of what we do, especially in the event sector, is about um, getting hands on and practical and going out and seeing people and going like today we were at the venue in Chichester walking around so you can't do that online um you know but for other things like meeting with lecturers have asking for extra tutorials extra support you could do that online and the time that you say from coming to the uni for a tutor meeting um you can stay at home and use that for your work so I think with technology as well we've become a lot more efficient Okay, right. Um, any other questions? Um, okay, we just put them in the chat or you can talk to us as well. You can take yourself off of mute and you can put your hand up and um, you can also talk to us. Um, so uh, Amy, is there anything else you would like to add that perhaps you didn't um, get to say in your presentation? Um, yeah, I just wanted to say about the class sizes at the University of Chichester. Um, so that's uh, that was a really big thing for me. So when looking at what university I wanted to go to, um, I think for everyone, it's probably quite daunting if you were to walk into a lecture hall with like 500 seats there. Um, but we I don't think I've ever had well, we have a lecture theatre, but we never used it. All the classrooms are seminars, so they're all classroom style based. Um, all the classes are really small. It depends on the intake each year, but in my class, there was only eight of us on the event management course. Um, but even so, you, you, you get to mix with the other students on the business um, that, do, that study business management as well. Um, so there's different modules, whether it's HR or finance or marketing that you get to mix in between. But even so, there wouldn't be any more than maybe like 20 students. Um, so they're really small class sizes, really interactive learning. You're not a face in a crowd you get to know your lecturers one on one you get that personal relationship I was always emailing Wendy like can you help me with this can we have a meeting with that um, whereas if if you go to a huge university of loads of students you're not going to get that level of support um, mm -hmm. so that was something that was really really big for me um, and I know that some of my other friends that went to larger universities I know that's something they struggle with just because it's it's not possible with the with the large number of students to do that on that on that intimate level um, and another thing as well like Ellie's oh, I studied purely event management um, although we do do a mix of other modules as well business marketing HR etc Ellie did um, business uh, sorry um events and marketing so you can you can have a dual pathway um but it's not something that you have to decide straight away which is again something really good that the university offer so you could start off in your first year just doing events or just doing marketing or maybe you're doing finance and then part way through you decide oh actually i really like this element or i really like that element um, and then you can change. Some people had completely changed across courses. A lot of people will split their dual pathway and even up until the 
beginning really of your second year you can then decide oh actually I really want to do events and HR or events and business um, so that's just a really nice other element um, that the university offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Amy. Those are some really, really good points. I just want to add before uh, I take a question from Daisy Tracy that we at University of Chester is all really about personalization, personalized learning. So although there is group learning in very small groups, uh, the biggest class will probably be about 20 to 24 students. Um, so and even then, that may be the initial size, but then if you're planning an event, that group is going to be split up into three different classes because each event is going to have a different sort of um, need. But we do a lot of face-to-face, one-on-one tutorials, uh, individual support is um, included. And um, just to let you know, Amy and I actually last year, we wrote a paper together because um, it was only you on the module. Uh, strategic yeah. hospitality so what we decided to do was to take advantage of that and form a partnership with the assessment so amy uh, did all of the research for her assessment on virtual events a paper that she wrote on virtual events she researched the industry and then once it was marked and everything then we, we took the paper got together and i sort of like changed it up a little bit add some bits to it and it's actually published as an academic journal and actually some students are citing your work actually um, <laughs> Amy now in their essays um so that was really amazing to collaborate on a piece of research and amy did a really good job and that's possible that sort of thing is possible because the classes are small and we could um, collaborate also another collaboration that ellie did was ellie and a team of other three other students wrote a public relations a strategy for the business school so there's a lot of partnership work going on as well we see you um not as students but as partners and as equal individuals and i think that that's really nice that we can do that and that's you don't really get that at a lot of universities so tracy daisy tracy has a question how much time is spent in lectures during the week <laughs> so that's a very common question and a very very important question who would like to take that one Okay, yes, I'll answer I don't it. Mind. Oh. I don't mind. <laughs> um, it depends which road you're going down. For example, I just done event management and it's normally split between. So this semester I have four modules um, split over four days and they're all half days. So they're three hours per module. So it's at this week. I think I do a Monday, a Tuesday, a wednesday and a friday but they're all morning so they're all nine till twelve which is nice because then you get your whole afternoon to either go into the lrc and carry on or you can go home and work from home or if you have something planned you can always plan it just after it so they're nice and short and if you have got a full day then you get a good break in between as well so you get a good hours lunch mm -hmm. yes yeah, so it's usually especially in the first and second year 12 hours um, split between um, three hours per module and that's the amount of time you were spent in the classroom and then the rest of the time would be mainly independent study because most of uni is actually independent study so after the the webinars or the seminars the lectures you then go you meet up with your groups and you're working on some sort of project uh, you may have to go out and meet with businesses you may have to go and interview people you may have to go and do some reading some research uh, so a lot of the time is really free time of independent study uh, some people are naughty and don't do that they may you know if they've got a job they may go for a job or they go and they spend the time with a boyfriend um so you know you're an adult in uni you decide how you want to spend your time based on you know what you want to get out of your degree um, if you're in the final year, you probably you will spend less time in the classroom. In the final year, you're probably out on a 10 week work placement. So that means that you're in a company, you're not in, in the classroom, you're in a company one day a week uh, on your 10 week placement if you choose to do that. And you're writing your dissertation. So writing your dissertation is an independent um, piece of work. So you will be probably in the library, probably out handing out questionnaires or doing some form of research. Um, if you are planning an event for your dissertation, which is also an option, then you will probably not be in the classroom, but you'll be out pitching to sponsors, meeting people, 
uh, meeting up with suppliers, um, discussing um, event requirements, meeting with the event team, meeting with the district council, that type of thing. So it's very hands on. Um, it's really not a course where you sit down in the classroom all the time. Uh, we do field trips abroad. We do field trips um, within the UK and hopefully those will resume. We're resuming field trips this year, actually. So we're going to Confex, which is a big um, event exhibition in, at London Excel. We're doing that on the 9th of March. Um, just a lot of, you know, just getting out there meeting people. So, um, yes, it's just really 12 hours in, in the classroom. The rest of the time you're on your own um, to use it as you, you see fit. Right. Um, let's see if we have any questions, other questions in the chat. Um, no, we um, don't. Um, OK, well, we have one minute um, left, so uh, I don't know if any anyone in the panel would like to maybe give us 20 seconds summary of, of anything that you wish to say before we end the webinar. No? I will. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll do, yeah, I'll try and be as quick as I can. Um, so yeah, just overall, um, I've really, really enjoyed my three years at the University of Chichester. Um, COVID obviously was a huge um, impact to everyone, but it didn't stop me from getting a first class honours, nor any of my friends. The support was just incredible from the university. Um, and I know that going forward, it will be as well. Um, just wanted to again highlight about the small the small size classrooms, the support you get and the practicalness um, of the course with the live events being offered. But also as well, if you want to do the dissertation, then you can do that option. Um, so it's a real good balance. Mm -hmm. And I also like to add, because I know a lot of unis don't provide this, but we give you career support for life. Uh, so we help you um, with your CVs um, and, and we have a really amazing careers department that not only advertise placements and jobs, but they help you to modify your CV to maybe match the role that you're going into. They will give you mock interviews and, and help you to find a job. And then that's not it. You could come back to us at any time throughout your career if you feel you need support, um, if you want to attend any of our employability seminars, uh, you've got career support for life. Right, so um, I think that is where I would end the webinar. I just want to say thank you to everyone for joining. We do have other webinars coming up. The next webinar, we are planning to have employers come to speak to you about their companies, what uh, roles are available in their companies, and what they like about um, students at the University of Chichester that they hire and we probably have some other students or, 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 or graduates attending that webinar as well that should be at the end of March and you will be sent invitations I would also like to invite you to contact me if you would like to discuss the course further I can meet with you uh, on a phone call one-on-one -on -one, or if you would like to visit the university and maybe get a tour and meet with me I welcome that as well. I will be emailing everyone, letting you know what times I would be available. And don't be shy, just respond, email me, and I'd be happy to sit with you one on one uh, if you want to discuss your application or if you want to talk more about the course. So thank you all very much. A uh, heartfelt thank you to Ellie, Amy, and Paige for joining us, taking the time to join us. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Do have a wonderful evening, and hopefully I'll get to meet you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.